Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. I hope you're having a great day. Well, welcome to another episode of Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes. <laughs> oh man, I'm just amazed. I really am amazed. Um, I want to talk about uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. And you, if you're not familiar with him, he's a young man. He's 17 years old, out of Antioch, Illinois. He drove from Antioch, Illinois with an AR-15 rifle, uh, apparently, to Kenosha, Wisconsin, which is about a 20 to 30 minute drive, somewhere between 20 and 30 minute drive. So it's basically kind of right there on the border um, to help out at a car lot, a uh, uh, used car lot, to keep the car lot from being burned because the night before, you guys are aware, there the riots in Kenosha, Wisconsin because of Jacob Blake, who wouldn't listen to the cops, getting shot in the back five times, and then they started rioting and burning down buildings and burning down stuff and burning up cars and car lots, smashing cars, burning them out. So he went there to help defend one of the car lots and keep it from getting burned down. He and another buddy had a rifle. And initially I thought, because what happened with Kyle, 17 years old, what happened with Kyle is he, he shot three people. He killed two of the three people. And initially my thought was, when I saw the video, I was like, ooh, that first person, headshot, dude was gone. <laughs> he was gone. And I don't, I wasn't quite clear on what happened. I wasn't sure if he just, the guy just yelled something at him, he turned around and shot him. But according to what the story I'm hearing, and I'm sure the, the you know, we'll get more as the story develops, is he was attempting to defend the car lot because the riders were coming at it. He heard a gunshot, he turned around, fired back. At the, at the at the area he heard the gunshot coming from and hit the guy who he assumed was the one where the shot came from in the head, took him out. That was one. Then he runs to go get help from the police. Let him know somebody's down, he's running. And as he's running, you hear, and if you watch the video, you'll hear the rioters saying, there he is, get him, get him, knock him down. They're chasing him. I don't know if he somebody tripped him or if he tripped over himself trying to run. But once he's on the ground, a guy comes up flying, kick him in the head. Another guy comes up with a skateboard, hits him in the head with a skateboard. And then tries to come. And so he's being attacked essentially from all sides. People are getting ready to surround him. The guy with the skateboard is getting ready to come back and hit him again. And he shot, and he has his rifle. He shoots that guy in the chest. That guy is super surprised that bullets are real. <laughs> <laughs> I know I should laugh, but come on. Oh, man. Uh, you know, this is what I talked about. These are these kids who spent their whole lives playing video games. Never under, no, the parents didn't tell them there are consequences, real world consequences to real world actions. And I guess, I guess they just assume life is a video game and that they can't really be hurt in real life. But that guy got shot in the chest or in the lungs or something, and he's dead. Uh, you see the look on his face like, oh man, I got shot. So he falls on the ground. Another guy comes up with a pistol in hand and points it at Kyle. He's probably about 10 feet away from him. Points at him. Kyle sees him, pops him in the arm that he's holding the pistol in and shreds his arm uh, th where the bicep is. Just boom, like, like right between the elbow, the joint in the elbow and the bicep. And you can tell it's shredded pretty good because the guy who's holding his arm now tempted to try to hold it up and it's kind of just kind of flopped down. It's, it's, yeah, you can go watch it. I'm telling you, it's crazy. But it's, it's kind of flopped down. He's still holding on to the gun, which tells me he can't even let go of the, the pistol. So when he hits that guy, he jumps up, need medical help, and he's running towards the cops, holds his hands up like he's surrendering, and the cops are just kind of going by. I'm like, get out of the way, get out of the way. And he, because the cops didn't arrest him, he leaves, is my understanding. He went back to Illinois, and I guess he turned himself in there. But I'm not mad at this kid. <laughs> I, I know some of you are probably like, Steve, this is so wrong. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. There's so many things that are wrong with what the people who were chasing him did. First of all, 
I gotta give it to the guy. He's a good, he's a good shot. <laughs> so, in the zombie apocalypse, I want that dude on my side. <laughs> I'm coming to find you, Kyle, because you know what you're doing. But anyway, first guy pops. He felt threatened. He popped the dude because my understanding, he heard a gunshot. So he turned around when he thought the gunshot came from. Shot back. We'll find out if that was the case. But if he was under threat and he shot and he dropped the dude, don't play stupid games, man. Leave the car lot alone. You didn't have to go there. And then secondly. As he's rushing to go get help from the police because of the first shooting, and he either trips and falls or gets knocked down, people coming up behind him and all of a sudden trying to swarm him, my guy has got a rifle. Now, my understanding is, I guess they thought if they beat him down, they could take the rifle. My guy has got a rifle. <laughs> Why are you attempting to try and tackle this kid? And the guy with the skateboard, don't bring a skateboard to a rifle fight. What is wrong with you? I, just, I I hope Kyle, he's already been, I think he's like six charges. Um, Wisconsin, they chose not to extradite him. They're waiting for him to get counsel. Apparently some high powered lawyers are looking to, to help him out. I'm assuming pro bono. I hope he, him and his family put together a, a, pro, uh, a, a GoFundMe to help pay for his legal fees. But I don't think the kid should get it could, it could, they said first degree murder like it was intentional murder I don't think he was attempting to kill anybody he was there to protect the car lot and then the crazies the lefties got up got tried to get all nutty and he just took a few of them out now the first one is maybe problematic because didn't headshot don't know if he did that intentionally or he, he just a great shot or maybe he meant to hit him in the chest end up hitting in the head I don't know I'm sure all this stuff will come out but hey, this is the kind of stuff I was talking about. People have mistaken, and I think this is a huge calculation, the leftists and the rioters and the, and the Democrats uh, the, who are supporting all this stuff, the leftists who are supporting all this stuff made. They assumed that our apathy was fear, that the apathy was a fear, and because we were afraid, we would be compliant. A lot like what they condition people to do with this whole virus nonsense. Um, and don't get, get, don't even get on me about that. Two weeks to flatten the curve, and we're now six months, uh, almost six months into this. Two weeks to flatten the curve, BS. Don't even go there with me on that. But I think they assumed that the fear of the virus allowed some people to do some conditioning. A lot of the country do some reconditioning, and they were thinking that when maybe the protests, peaceful protests, riots, would do some conditioning as well, and people would become fearful and just think, oh my gosh, it's so terrible. Maybe if we get rid of Trump, all this stuff will go away. And I think they made a bad calculation because apathy doesn't mean fear. Apathy means not caring until it starts to hit home. And the closer these protesters got, see, when they were in downtown and metropolitan areas, a lot of people don't care. When they start coming to the suburbs, people's people's ears and eyes start to perk up a little bit. Like, that could be my suburb, suburb next. And Kenosha is not a big town. Kenosha is Kenosha's a small place. And they decided to go there and act a fool and start burning stuff down. And just like they've been going to people's homes and yelling and taking blow, um, bullhorns and all this kind of stuff. Keep them up, up all hours of the night. Eventually, it was a, it was bound to happen. Somebody was bound to say, you know what? If the police are not going to be here to defend us and to help protect our property, we all we have is us. We're going to have to defend ourselves, and that's what. And so that's what happened. And a couple of guys got popped. And the reason why you're probably not hearing a whole lot about it on the news, because Kyle's white. The two people he popped. I'm sorry, the three people he popped, two that he that two that are dead, the three people he popped are all white. Now as I'm standing, I think a couple of them had um, a couple of them had records as just of course all these fools out here in the street probably got some type of criminal background. I'm Kyle, I, I, I saw the video. It looked like self-defense to me. I hope you get some good lawyers. I hope you I hope you get the money up to, to, to help you, young man. You don't seem to be a bad kid. We'll see more stuff that comes out as stuff comes out. I know the media is trying to paint you as a white, white supremacist, but there's been no evidence of that that I've seen or heard or read. So, hey, 
you did what you thought was right. I understand you're only 17. I hope this does not ruin the rest of your life. But hey, the one thing I want to say to you, bro, is <laughs> good shot, man. <laughs> My boy knows how to play with that. My boy knows how to uh, how to use that AR. I'm telling you. At any rate, I love to hear your thoughts on it. Y'all tell me what you think. If you're like Steve, this is terrible. I can't believe you're backing that kid. He killed two people and, and shot three people. And oh, blah 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 blah. Cool. I love to hear that. If you're like Steve, hey, for real, <laughs> playing stupid games. You brought a rifle to a to a skateboard. I mean, you brought a skateboard to a rifle fight. <laughs> you're gonna lose. This is how it works. And so uh, with that, I hope you're having a great day. I'd love to hear from you. Please do me a favor. Like this video, share this video, comment on this video, but especially share this video because I've been noticing recently, I used to get a lot of views on my, my channel and I know from other uh, uh, YouTubers and uh, content uh, creators that I've, I watch that YouTube will get to a point where they start kind of throttling people's channels and I'm not noticing as many views as I normally get. So if you would please share it, I would appreciate it because I'm getting a feeling I'm getting throttled a bit and I'm not down for that. The more we get this information out, the better. The more content I'll be able to create. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Y'all take care.